Hello, hello, hello. It's Kenta Reactions and after watching that Raya film in the cinema, I decided let's just watch all these Disney films that I've never seen. The only ones I've seen from Disney are Hercules, Frozen, Frozen 2 and maybe a few others but I don't think I've seen Snow White at all. But yeah, let's just play it right about now. Always wanted to watch this film but never got the chance to because they're so expensive on Blu-ray. But now Disney Plus have all the films so let's just Watch it right now. I think it's about a little girl who meets these seven men and they poison her with an apple or something. Cool. This is old school Disney. Damn, these credits are so damn long. When's it over? Okay. That's cool. Uh, do I have to read all that? <laughs> Jeez. Can't they have like some narration in the background? That, that'd be pretty nice. Oh shoot, is this the movie with the mirror mirror on the wall? Quote. Damn son, look at that rotoscoping right there. I'm liking that. <laughs> What's with that weird frog mask? <laughs> My gosh, this is kind of creepy man. But the animation is lit. I'm guessing they're talking about the main character Snow White. So this is Snow White. Is this like a flashback because she looks younger than her posters? It has to be a flashback. She looks like a child. Oh wow, this song. <laughs> oh wow. Her voice is just so old school, you know. Like Betty Boop or something like that, you know, man. Damn, this guy's a creep. He's like what? 25 years old. This film is so 1950s. But the prince has got a good voice, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this woman's eyes are so creepy. <laughs> Damn. Does she want to kill Snow White? Why? What does she do to her? I don't understand that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> God. For a children's film, this is dark. Damn, son. No, oh, well done. That's character development right there. He wanted to impress the queen, but then he just couldn't. Is that why she's jealous of a child? Oh, wow. God, dude. Gosh. For a kid's film, this has a lot of dark elements. Like, look at the backgrounds. I love it, but man, it's creepy. <laughs> I was just not gonna scar a child. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> nah, this would give me nightmares as a kid. That's just too much, man. L look at the eyes. <laughs> That's messed up. Unless she's some sort of acid. I get it, it was all in her imagination. <laughs> the reality was that it was just little critters inside trees. It's crazy how the animators had to animate frame by frame on paper. No computers, no CGI. That's why it looks amazing. Seven children, all seven dwarfs. That's where they live. Is that Chippendale? It is Chippendale. Oh shoot, they're making a cameo. That's cool. This is interesting. So I thought that the seven dwarfs kidnapped her or something. But it seems to be the opposite. She kind of broke in. Oh, here they are. Hmm, the colour, I don't know if it's my TV, but it's not as bright as the poster. Like, the poster looks so glossy, but when you really look at it, it looks really, like, old school, really dingy colours and all that. Oh, I know this character, the dopey, dopey dude. This is dopey dude, I think. And then there was the angry one. Huh. <laughs> I think this one's my favourite out of all of them. I get like, he's more like the leader of the pack. Take away. I don't. <laughs> the voice I actor of this dude. I can't. I can't. Why does he sound so familiar? I, I feel like I've seen him in a film before, that voice. He's gonna sneeze in the heat. Yeah, I thought so. Damn, it's like a tornado. <laughs> Wow, I'm not gonna lie, this film was a lot different than I thought. I literally thought these guys kidnapped Snow White, but there's like Snow White broke in and they had no idea. 
Oh, this poor guy. You always have to pick on the small one. Whoa. <laughs> Some of the voice acting is really strange, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Damn, son. There's always one. I don't think that line was very politically correct. From the younger guy. I have a feeling she would, you know. Doesn't she have a dragon or something? Damn, why does this guy always get left behind? Yeah, that's unfair. <laughs> Lol. Oh my god, Snow White. <laughs> Was she being sarcastic? Damn. I wasn't expecting this movie to be so loony toony with these dwarf guys. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that serves him right. Being a jerk. I like the different tonal shifts. It's really goofy and funny and Looney Toony in Snow White's house. But in here it's just very realistic and grounded to reality, you know? Yeah, your servant guy didn't kill him. Killer. Pig! And I have been tricked. No. Oof. This is not a kid's film, man. There's way too many horrific scenes in it. I bet it's like a plot twist with the queen being her mother or something like that. That could be very likely. Oh shoot, what has she done? <laughs> She's taking some weird trippy drug. Is she turning into Snow White? So she can look young now. Oh, I think she is. Oh, wait a minute. I think she's getting old. Why is she? Why does she drink that to get old? I don't see the point. I thought she wanted to look young. That doesn't make any sense. I don't get that. Oh, it's a disguise. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Ooh, that is definitely rotoscoping right there. I feel like Snow White really sticks out compared to all the dwarfs. <laughs> it's like she moves like l moving liquid, but the dwarfs are very Looney Tooney. I think I've seen this scene on a tape before. She's in love with someone she just met. <laughs> Lol. Has she not seen Frozen? Oh, I thought she was going to be singing Someday Over the Rainbow or something like that. Okay, this is a nice song. Best song of the film so far. Very soothing. And whoever the actress is deserves an Oscar. <laughs> Women. <laughs> this guy. He's not very woke, is he? Damn, son, don't tell me she's gonna feed that to Snow White. Gooey green apple. And there's weird bits on it as well. Oh, God. Love's first kiss. That doesn't make any sense. How does kissing someone break the spell? She doesn't even know the guy. It's Disney, I suppose. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Damn, dopey dude's a simp. Even the angry boy is getting a bit soft now. Jeez, Snow White's too gullible to just eat that. Oh shoot. God, look at the rain animation. I'm loving that. Oh shoot, imagine if one of the dwarfs died. <laughs> Damn. That's a dumb way to die. Damn, even the birds are delighted by that. That's kind of messed up. They killed her off. <laughs> it is what it is. Damn, you've been grumpy, he's upset. Character development right there. So now it's up to this prince guy to save the day. You know what? I bet she's just faking it. She just wanted to kiss the prince. I bet she's just... <laughs> she's alive and well and just sort of faking sleeping, you know? I mean, if she really was on death's door, her skin would be super pale, but she still has colour in her skin. I need to question this logic. There's just so many plot holes in this film. Like, the witch, why does she die? Doesn't she have a dragon and, like, unlimited power? Oh, there they go. Good film, man. Right, so that was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What do I think of that film overall? Well, 
it was a lot different than I thought it was. It was dark and it was like darker than I thought and funnier than I thought it was going to be. Um, didn't know what to expect from it. it. It's pretty chilled and laid back to be honest. Don't understand why the witch died in the end because she's a witch. That that rock fool couldn't have killed her and why Snow White was just so damn gullible to eat some apple. Like I don't understand why kissing someone she just met broke the spell. Like, this guy she hasn't even met for like five minutes and she's in love with him. I, I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Like, where's the logic? I thought the queen was going to be like revealed to be her mom or something like that. And the seven dwarfs, I kind of like the characters there. The voice actors are way more wacky than I imagined them to be. I thought they'd be a little bit more strict and, I don't know, just a bit more level-headed, but they all have these weird, unique personalities. Overall, a good film with great animation. I think I'm going to check out the rest of the films. Pinocchio, without a doubt, I haven't seen that film yet. It's just popped up on Disney+, Plus and I've not seen that film at all. I've probably seen, like, a 3D robot version of it on Cartoon Network, but not this version of Pinocchio. We'll all subscribe for future Disney reactions if you want to. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one.